Wonder Woman is the third DCU installment and is also directed by Patty Jenkins, written by Alan Heinenberg and also Zack Snyder. Uh, it stars Gal Gadot as the wonderful Wonder Woman, of course, Chris Pine, Robin Wright, and a handful of other characters such as the dude from Harry Potter, David Thewellis, Danny Hudson, well known from X-Men Origins, probably his most favorite movie doing of all time, just giving him a hard time, I actually love that actor, and a handful slew of other great supporting casts. Now, I know this movie review is a little bit late, I do apologize, but I'm simply just trying to review as much stuff as I can when I get the time I can. So Wonder Woman was two hours and almost 30 minutes, which uh, is a really long film when you think about it. Um, it is, like I said, the third installment of this uh, cinematic universe that DC has been trying to set up and has kind of failed at, uh, to be honest but um, has also had secret gems. And I think Wonder Woman is one of those gems, um, but I'm not gonna be one of those people that just goes crazy and says, oh my God, it was amazing. It needs to get all the Oscars. It's so amazing uh, and get all hyped in it. But I think that um, there was a lot of great things in this movie that a lot of um, fans will just overlook uh, simply because of all the hype going around it and they just wanna find a way to discredit the film as a whole. So I believe a lot of them went for the villain, and they said that he was weak, and that made the film overall weak. But I think they, a lot of people need to realize that a lot of villains are weak nowadays, and I don't think that even hurt this character at all. I think that this really set up the world that these uh, Amazonians were living in, that these women were living on this island with no man. Uh, so there's a lot of great comedy that could be written in there that was, and um, I think the action scenes were also just, wow, those took me away, because I was surprised about how all the stuff they did with the horses and the training sequences and the fighting sequences like they just looked so real and just so cut and clean and well done didn't look like a cgi crap fest it looked real it was slick it was very well done kind of reminded me of a guy Ritchie kind of doing the action with the camera being held very close to the actors rather than trying to get the whole bigger picture it really made us feel in the action scenes in a certain way. And I think Jenkins did a great job on that. And I think the fact that she's only directed a movie like Monster that's gotten an acclaimed hit back in 2003 with uh, Charlie Theron, I think that um, she really took the helm of a huge project here. And I think she just nailed it out of the park. She got everything she needed to get done. She laid the base works for the Justice League movie and some other stuff. She kind of left the Easter eggs that they had to. But um, I also just think that it built Wonder Woman. Um, not the best way. I think there was some small flaws, but I just think overall Wonder Woman was really built. She had that great scene on the uh, trench line when she got up and started fighting and literally was just walking and just kind of showed that she was a beacon of hope. And that's kind of what these heroes become. Like, yes, they're strong and they're impressive, but it's really just the fact that they're doing this, that this is what they want to put their powers for, that there is this greater good that they always see and that they want others to see as well, and that they're trying to, I don't know, somehow teach humanity something while at the same time saving it. So I think it's a very interesting parallel, and I think they played with that very well, and I think they showed that a lot. Um, I think Chris Pine did a great job as Steve Trevor. I was disappointed, actually, that he got cast as this because I wanted him to be the Green Lantern because I heard there were some rumors. But I think he nailed this uh, role. I think um, him and his uh, little commando buddies uh, were really great. They had chemistry. They worked together. And um, they really just showed what man could be at its best while um, the war and the fighting and um, obviously the Nazis and all that stuff was showing the evil in humanity. So there's a lot of parallels and there's just a lot of deeper meanings throughout the whole film. I could probably go on for hours and I think anybody really could, um, but I'm not going to, <laughs> uh, obviously, for the sake of it. Um, but I just want to say that uh, overall it was an amazing film and that um, it has a lot of parallels, a lot of underlining messages, and um, if you just look for them, you'll definitely find them. And I think visually, it's also a very stunning film. Like I said already about the action sequences, but just about the overall sequencing and editing and the uh, score, just really compacted it into a very solid, very watchable movie. But on top of that, really made Wonder Woman stand out from all the other films that I've seen. But also, I, haven't, I have not personally seen 
um, like a dominant female hero for a while on the big screen. So I think that was also something kind of new. I was kind of exciting and it added this sense of, you know, freshness and nuance to the film. And I believe that um, Captain Marvel is just going to be late to the punch. And I think that's something Marvel has actually lost on. And I think that the DC has actually done better, which is surprising because you would think it would have been the other way around. Um, but I think, um, I'm not going to go into the whole DC Marvel war. I was just making a fun hint, but, um, I think that their future past the Justice League is unset now, but I'm really interested to see what Wonder Woman 2 will bring, especially because they're bringing back the director. We're going to see kind of where the studio wants to go as a whole. And I think we're going to get, I don't think we're going to get as great of a film, but I honestly think that uh, Wonder Woman left and set the groundwork for something great. So I think that they still could have a second one that doesn't do nearly as well, but it's just good that that first one was solid and was a really solid building block for Wonder Woman. So I think with all that said, I would have given it an eight or nine. Um, IMDb ranks it at a 7.6, but I would definitely say an eight or nine. Definitely worth the watch. Um, I just assume everyone has seen it by now, so I forgot to say spoilers. I do apologize. but the only real major spoiler is that that uh, guy, the English Harry Potter dude, is the actual evil guy. But a lot of people could have seen that coming, too. So there's not really any spoilers. So I'm just going to throw that in there. Um, hope you guys are all having a wonderful weekend and have a great week coming up. Christmas is coming up. Star Wars is coming up. I hope you guys are all excited. More reviews are going to come soon. I'm going to try to be doing newer movies, but I'm also going to be doing a lot of older films because I'd like to review everything. So uh, please feel free to comment in the section below, and I will see you guys around. Goodbye.